Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the big day at Turfentine. We're on the Standside Track, Saturday, the 5th of March, and um, some cracking good racing, 11 races. We kick off at 12 o'clock with the first, and the Pentrometer's 23 six-meter false rail from the 700 gives everyone a chance. Uh, we start off with a juvenile plate for Phillies, 1,000 meters, and you've got to be with Miss Cool. She looks like the right horse. She is odds on and will be hard to beat. The only horse that the money's come from is number six, Gala Vanting. Dennis Schwarz for Lucky Hood Larkers. Interesting jockey booking. Uh, make a note that Querulous is now ridden by Gavin Larina. And then Anton Marcus rides uh, Sean Terry's round at number 10. What you're waiting for might be a speedy. Race two, uh, Juvenile Plate, they go 1,000, set to go, and what a tiger, both won their last starts, and both won in pretty similar times, very little between them. So let's look elsewhere. Uh, Rafa's boy's been back number four, the Sean Terry runner with Anton Marcus aboard it, and um, they certainly got a good pedigree, this one out of a tail of the cat mare, should be fast. Uh, Rachel Venica rides Val Park, didn't run too badly first time out, and number seven, Cold Hard Stare, certainly in the betting as well. Um, the comment is further, but uh, I'm not so sure about that. By what a winter out of a very good mare, Trip Poker. Race three, Maiden Plate, Phillies and Mares, they go 11.60. And um, it's very hard to look past number nine, Mayen. Uh, Keegan DeMello for the Johan Jansa von Furen stable, improved last. Um, it looks like the stable elect, looks like a lot to like about it. Uh, interesting runner here is Bonaro, which is the favourite, so ahead of the speed rating. Two good runs from Bonaro, but um, Rafif out of a Cajal mare, and she stayed all day. This uh, might need, need be needing more ground. The horse that I like as an each-way bet is number one, Tracy's Princess from the Paul Peter Yard with uh, Warren Kennedy aboard it. Go back to its form over the 1200 and the 1160, very good form and a pretty good time. Um, when she ran the time before last. Last time, probably too far for her. Race four, maiden plate. Uh, they go six, uh, 1160. And I'm going with uh, number two, Magic Dancer from the Mike Cockyard Yard with Kamala aboard it. I think this might be the right race for it. And it uh, looks like uh, this is her game. Find, she'll find uh, the competition in number nine, Chervana. Uh, Keegan DeMello drawn one second run after a rest, that's against it, and Gold Lava didn't run a bad first race, but it looks a very thin race this indeed, and um, I'm taking my chances with Magic Dancer. Race 5, Hawaii, Grade 2, very, very competitive. MK's Pride at first glance looks like the right horse. Jockey change doesn't impress me. Gavin Larina now gets a ride from draw 10. Um, and uh, this horse, course and distance 5 3 1, is absolutely at his best here. So let's look at the rest. And El Matan is your favorite. Um, might be too short for him, but uh, because he does take a bit of time to wind up. But Kamala has now jumped on El Matana, and he ridden that, um, th that sometimes before this its last run. Timaturi run. I think that's number six. Uh, Raymond Danielson rides this horse well, should go well. And Cirillo also should go well. Course and distance, 5-2-1 uh, with Calvin Habib. That's number four. Bingwa might be better over this type of trip. Then we get down to Freed from Desire. And um, Paul Peter, Warren Kennedy. Interesting that Warren's riding this and not riding uh, MK's Pride. So that goes into all your play. It does look like one of these races you might get a little bit of a result. Race 6, the Phillies Classic Grade 1, 1,800 meters. I make an absolute three-cornered contest. Obviously, the top two, number one, Desert Miracle, and two, Rain and Holland, look like they'll fight it out again. I thought Desert Miracle, uh, Gavin Arena went far too early last time on her, um, and that probably cost her. She has got a tremendous turn of foot. You'd like to just see her held up and held up and held up. But Rain and Holland will go this trip very well. So the danger's got to be Clafuti. Uh, number five, Mike DeCock's other runner. I think the 1800s absolutely up her alley. And I uh, like the booking of Keegan Tamela. He's ridden her the last three times. He knows her well. And she could be a big runner. Her profile looks good for this type of race. The dark horse to me, and uh, worth including in everything, is Six Eternity Ring. Bred to go the trip. She's by Ideal World out of a, the Fort Wood mare. And she has shown some very, very good form, Eternity Ring. So put her into your play. Race 7, Classic, 
1800, very hard to look past safe passage. He's beaten them all before, and there's no reason why he shouldn't beat them all again. He's bred to go the trip, uh, everything in his, in his favor, hard to beat. The Dark Horse of the Race, number three, Out of the Darkness, uh, that's the pun. Uh, King and Damella, uh, and seems held by safe passage, but might be the big improver. And he had five starts this horse, and looks like he's got a lot of uh, room for improvement, and I think he's quite a good horse. Aragosta, uh, ran beyond safe passage as well. He'll be better over the trip, and then William Robertson and Platinum Sky come into it. The horse that might be the big improver is Zeus, number 10. Uh, Gavin Larina sticks with this one. Uh, he's got very good form, this horse. He's done nothing wrong, but this is a step up into the big, um, into the big league. Uh, he could be a player, but uh, it will be interesting to see. The horse that I'm shocked is in the race is 11 picture perfect, because wherever he runs, his merit rating is going to get hammered. This is not a good race for him. Fade Herb comes up to ride him from Cape Town. And um, unless he wins, uh, he's got a big problem in the future. Race 8, Acacia, grade 3, 1600 meters, and three cornered contest. 10 Bomber Vance, my top choice. Very good form, two very easy wins. Uh, drawn wide, that's the only thing against it, but I think at these weights, got a huge, huge chance. Five Admire Me. Uh, got to give uh, Bon Vivant uh, a bit of weight, but she's a four year old against a three year old. And uh, then 12, Pin Up, got very good form too. And she's a five year old mare, but she's got 54 to carry. She carries the same weight as Bon Vivant. Uh, Senpai Destiny is your favorite and uh, won well last time. Uh, is she as, uh, as effective over this trip? Only the race will tell. Race 9, the Aquanaut, 2,400 meters. And I'm going for the three best weighted horses in the race. Uh, Shangani uh, looks like the right horse. Kennedy's ridden at six times for four wins in two places. This is course and distance suited, head of the speed rating, drawn one, lots to like about it, and should go very well. But he's got a problem with Blackthorn, uh, number eight. Uh, he's got very good form. He was given no chance last time, came from far too far back. And who knows um, why there wasn't a little discussion about that, but there should have been a nine barrack. Uh, gets the blinkers, third run after arrest. Matiame will ride this horse well off 52. Don't leave him out. The dark horse is Green Haze, much improved with Chase Mujan on it and his last two runs. Put him into your play. Smoking hot, also well suited to course and distance. Race 10, conditions, fillies and mares, 1160. Two horses, Big Burn, number three, even money favorite. She's got the right merit rating. She's head of the speed rating, and she's very effective over this type of trip. But I think she might be better over the 1400. Homely Girl is an interesting horse here. Come from the Snaith operation, um, and looks like got tremendous form. She's effective over 1,000 or 1,200. And if she's right, uh, they're going to have to pick up their feet to beat her. Race 11, Maiden Blade, 1,600 meters, three-cornered contest. Eight is my, the top choice, Carl Vinson. Lots of money for him last time out. Cal, um, Calvin rode him. Anton Marcus jumps aboard him. Now, nah, huge, huge runner. Danger forward spell, number one. Been uh, flattered to deceive, but drawn 10, and that's why I made him the second choice, because the draw is certainly going to be uh, a situation that's not going to find it easy to overcome. And then number four, uh, Dawn Mission might improve third run after arrest. So, looks like a great day. There's a million rand carryover for the pick six today, so you've got to get involved in the pick six. And it does look pretty cut and dried, but you could get a result or two which will make it pay. From me, James Goodman, and the whole Interbet team, remember, bet with Interbet, bet on the tote, all the money goes through the tote. Let's stop the open bet right here.